Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we got some new hardware. This is the Canane Avalon Nano 3. We're gonna unbox this thing, we're gonna get it set up. We're gonna go over all of the specs, the features, and then most importantly, we're gonna tell you whether or not you should buy it. But first, let's spin that intro. <laughs> Before me, I have the beautiful Canane Avalon Nano 3. This is a Bitcoin ASIC. Rather, it is an ASIC that runs on the SHA-256 algorithm that is synonymous with Bitcoin itself. And then, of course, that means it could also run on some other um, SHA-256 related coins such as Bitcoin Cash, etc. So... We finally got this thing in hand. We ordered um, probably five of these quite a while ago in different orders from different vendors in hopes that we would get them quickly in our hands. So of course that we could make content for you and uh, cause they're just a really cool device. They're actually kind of advertised as like a personal heater slash Bitcoin miner. So they had a really interesting campaign type on these. And before we unbox it, let's just read what their official description is uh, of this device and go over some of the quick feature or <clears throat> and then go over some of the quick numbers. Then we're going to do an unboxing. We'll do a close up view of this. But yeah, let's go into the description. OK, the official description, the Avalon Nano 3 is a portable small heater that can generate Bitcoin. So it's interesting that they actually angle at the heater part before they go into the Bitcoin ASIC part. It is developed by and produced by the NASDAQ listed company Canane Inc. I, I think it's Canane, it could be Canon uh, Inc. And it belongs to the Avalon product line. Think about all of our confusion during the winter. Fresh steaming tea cools down in a minute. Got cold hands or feet in front of a computer all the time. Staring at the ceiling before going to bed and feeling a lack of warm vibes. We all need more warm vibes, right? Well, guess what? With the Avalon Nano 3, all of the troubles in the winter are readily solved. Yeah, it's about the winter, huh? And you can obtain a warm and unique little world of your own. Uh, not to mention the best part is the continuous BTC revenue during this process. Feeling unbelievable? Well, this is the Avalon Nano 3. Okay, yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, they're advertising that it's a great warming heater, especially uh, for things like at your computer to give you warm hands and feet while you're working your day away. It's, uh, it's breaking into the dead of summer here in the States, especially where I live. So yeah, I don't know how viable the heater aspect is at this time of the year. But yeah, I could imagine that during the dead of winter, this these little devices could be quite nice little heaters. And uh, like my man RPM Red Panda, I'm probably gonna stash these all over the house and just to add a little bit of extra radiant heat wherever and uh, yeah. So without further ado, that's what it is. That's the official description. Yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. You know what time it is, RGB knife. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, the box. Let's do a visual inspection. The box has the uh, specs, the sticker. It says the hash rate is four to five, four plus or minus terahash, uh, four terahash at plus or minus 5%. It is the Avalon Nano 3. It consumes 140 watts. Of course, that's at the high setting. There are three settings on this. And this one is not the black. So let's take a look inside. What's in the box? Yeah, what's in the box? All right. So first and foremost, it comes in a pretty nice box. Um, very Apple-esque, like a iPhone type box. Um, so it comes in a nice shrink wrapped cellophane. I'm gonna pull this guy open. Get rid of that. Oh corner smashed down so that's making it Eesh. good night this thing is wedged in there Whew. there we go it's well packaged so there you go beautiful bright yellow it's kind of like a canary bright yellow it does look really really nice feels like a solid pretty pretty well boxed product inside has a big hard foam at the very top to give it the cushion in on the top so yeah, very well packaged, very professionally done in that aspect. Let's pull this thing out. 
So first impression, it's uh, it's actually a little thicker now that I got my hands on it than I actually imagined. I felt like I felt like it was probably as wide as just this grate in my mind. So um, yeah, I thought it was gonna be about this wide. It's actually a little bit bigger and wider than I had initially thought. So there is in the box, we've got the actual unit itself. We've got a nice manual and that is it for the main unit itself. And then, um, of course, we were smart enough to order the power supply with the items. All of our um, Avalon Nano 3s, we ordered the power supply. And I'm glad we did because later it was found that it's been really hard to find a good second market, aftermarket type um, power supply that doesn't get crazy hot that are actually designed to run with this. So let's open it up real quick. And nothing special about this guy. You've got the power plug itself and then the actual power brick. Um, the power brick is wrapped in cellophane. So it was wrapped all the way around and you can see it's been punctured. So I assume that's where they test it. Um, let's go on the specs real quick on this thing. It says a 140 watt USB-C charger. Um, input is 110 to 240 volts. So you can run it on 220 or 120. Um, 1.8 amp um, output does 15 watts at 3 amps, 36 watts at 3 um, on 12 volt, 20 volt, 100 watts. You've got um, at 28 volts for 140 watts. So that is an interesting, nice little power brick. And there's the comparison on the size for the power brick and the head unit itself. And there that's that's it that's what we got for the entire purchase so let's do a couple close-up shots of this guy and then we'll go over the specs the features then we'll actually do the full setup on this thing and then we're going to tell you whether or not you should buy this and of course how you can go about buying this unit itself so let's get into it go All right, so now the main important thing that you're asking before we even go over the setup, the specs and the features, you're asking how much? How much did this right here cost me? Well, I paid $247 in SGD. That is a Singapore dollars, which actually equates to 183 US dollars. And that counts the included power supply. I ordered this on April 7th. And so it's been roughly two months give or take to actually get this in um i was order number 1400 1400 and I, it just arrived so that gives you kind of a feeling on the timeline but as they started cranking these out they i noticed they started going out quicker and quicker um so yeah there is the total cost and two door and what we paid and yada yada so next let's go over the features and what this thing can actually do so this is the main head head unit and basically it is just a mini btc sha 256 asic it actually runs on three different power modes so it boasts a hash rate of up to four tera hashes a second and uh yeah like i said there is that plus or five minus variance that is pretty common with all ASICs and that's just telling you that either you get silicon gold or you get silicon dud um, that would be the minus or the plus uh, on that depending on your chips and how well they actually run and sync together and yada yada. So yeah, at, a, at the four terahash mark, it should be running about 140 watts of power at the wall. So, and then the features are of course that it comes in the very sleek setup like it is here with the nice digital screen with the uh, two easy toggle buttons. The um, front panel has a magnetic piece where you could allow better airflow out, better heat in or out. Uh, I believe the air actually comes in from the back and out of this front grate here to allow better bypass um, airflow. You can take that off. 
So next, let's go over the actual specs of this thing. What's the measurement? 205 millimeters by 115 millimeters by 57 millimeters thick. And in the US, that would be about eight inches by four and a half inches and by two and a quarter inch thick. This runs on a 28 volt power supply, as we already notated, and it's 28 volt when it's on the full power cranking, the full power mode. And then of course that it runs up to 140 watts on the high power mode. The air temperature going out, again, they're focusing on what heat is coming out. It is said to put out anywhere between 40 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. That's pretty warm air coming up out of this thing. That means the internal must be much warmer than that. Uh, it has actually a really good low noise rating at 33 to 36 decibels. That's really quiet. That's not much quieter than a normal desktop computer or much louder than a desktop computer. Um, the the unit itself comes in five different colors. You've got the white, the black, the midnight blue, which is more of a navy. You've got peach fuzz, which is actually pink, so I don't know why it's called peach fuzz. And then the bright yellow, which is the one I have here, which is more like a canary yellow. So circling back to the modes, there are three different power modes. There's the 140 watt that runs about four terahash. There is the medium mode that runs 100 watts, and that runs about 3.2 terahash. And then there's the 65 watt low power mode that is a two terahash a second. So just going by those numbers, purely by those numbers, the medium power mode is actually, should be the most efficient if those numbers hold true. Of course, I'm sure they are slightly different per unit. So yeah, there are our specs on the device itself. Um, I didn't get a weight, let's go weight. So what is the weight on this thing? This thing weighs one pound, nine ounces on my scale. Um, the power supply itself, brick right here, weighs about 12 ounces, give or take. And so yeah, there are our specs. So let's move on to the most important part. Let's move on to the setup, let's go. Yeah, so that about wraps it up. This has really turned into a long one, but I really love this device. I highly recommend it. And if you have any questions, concerns, make sure to hit us up in the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.